Hello everyone, welcome back. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today and I'm going on a little day trip, so. Uh, okay, anyway. Next up, such a fun age. Uh, this book is super popular right now. It's on every list, every Instagram that I see. It was written last year and this is the author's uh, first novel. That was also a Reese's Book Club choice. So I was excited to read it. Um, it's labeled black fiction, I guess. So there's that. So it follows two stories-ish. And Mira, who is a babysitter for this rich white family, the Chamberlains. And then Alex is the mom. Alex Chamberlain, and she's a boss, she runs her own company, she's very caught up on appearances, that typical stereotype, I guess. Um, it takes place in Philadelphia in 2015, I believe, 2015-2016. So the plot. There is an incident at the Chamberlains that happens on like a Friday night, nighttime. So Alex calls Amira up and Amira's out. I think she's at a she's at a birthday party. So she's like all dressed up to the nines, going out on the town. Um so Alex calls her and says, Hey, we had something happen here. Can you come take our child, Briar? Can you come take her out? Get her out of the house with the police coming. We don't want her around, blah blah blah. Amira's like, yes, I'm there, got it. So she takes her to the grocery store because Briar like just likes to browse and like look at things. So they go to the grocery store because it's right down the street and they need to be out somewhere. So this is in uh, an affluent white community. Child's white, Amira's black. She's not dressed appropriately for babysitting. So she's out at the store, they're having a good time, they're dancing in the aisle blah 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 and then the security guard approaches her and they well the security guard and then another customer accuse Amira of kidnapping the child so it ends up getting filmed um this is a traumatic incident for Amira and then they kind of move on so the story follows like what happens after um, the dynamic between Amira um, and Alex and then the guy who ended up filming the video. There's a past connection there. And then the video ends up going viral, goes public against Amira's wishes. So that's basically the story. Oh. So I thought this book was uh, an easy read. It was easy to follow. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it still. I've been processing it for like the last two days. Um, I felt like Amira was boring, her character. She had no life goals. I didn't feel like she had much of a personality. Um, Alex was just your typical rich white woman. I mean, I felt like the characters were stereotypical. <laughs> So, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, the ending wasn't bad, though. Like, how it ended, how the story ended. But what I thought was weird was there was, like, the ending of, like, how the video gets out and what happens there. But then there was, like, an after the ending. What's, what It tells, like, what happens, like, a couple weeks after, a couple months after, and then, like, the next year. And I felt like it just was odd. And it didn't really match up with the rest of the story. So, there's that. So I'm curious if you read it and what you think because like I said, I I finished it like two days ago and I'm still just like, hmm. That's how I feel. <laughs> so yeah, so drop a comment, let me know. Um, I wanna see what other people think because it seems like everyone likes it and I'm trying to figure out why exactly. So yeah. Okay, well, make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.